Keywood infrastructure is originally out of Omaha. I'm told they bring more than a century of industrial, commercial, and transportation building experience to the table. Okay. Aye. The decision has been made. Key Wit will partner with the MDTA to design the new Key Bridge. It means we have a lot of work ahead. I mean, it's a huge relief that we've gotten to this point, and I can't emphasize enough how much hard work the team has put into this. The contract cost $73 million, with MDTA's chief engineer saying they chose the firm based on their qualifications and willingness to collaborate. Our first phase will be uh, our pre-construction services where we will be designing the bridge. Uh, we will be designing what we will be eventually be building. So when it comes time to build, we'll move into phase two and that's where we'll be able to construct the bridge. Phase two, final design, engineering and construction will begin in a matter of months. Keywit will have exclusive negotiating rights for entering into that next phase. The process to find a firm began in the midst of recovery efforts following the bridge collapse. Doing those things by themselves is huge. Doing them together at the same time to help our community in, the, in Baltimore uh, rebuild, you know, back better and stronger is just, uh, you know, it's, a, it's great to get to this point. Um, we just have to realize how much work is still ahead and how much is expected of us. The rebuild project is slated to start in 2025 with the goal for the replacement bridge to open in fall of 2028. We'll keep you informed every step of the way, but for now in Southeast Baltimore, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News. Tommy, thank you. Kiewit sent 11 News a statement. It reads in part, our long track record of delivering complex schedule intensive work through our extensive bridge, marine construction, dredging and related experience will serve us well to successfully execute this important project.